Hi everyone, welcome back to Elite Tech Media Alternative. As expected, um, like with every other PC hardware out there, it was a matter of time before they decided to deliver M.2 SSD drive with one terabyte storage. So today, it's finally here. It's finally arrived, my friends. SanDisk Tinnest one terabyte M.2 solid state drive. Unbelievable. It's called um, H400. It's designed for fast, uh, fast uh, startup and application launch, as well as extended battery life. This is awesome. This is awesome. Consumer research conducted by Sandisk in late 2015 indicates that these benefits are important for more than 70% 70, 70 of consumers while using PCs. People have spoken. They want to they want to work faster with fewer interruptions. This is this is awesome, but I don't want to know the price. <laughs> like I think this is gonna this is gonna be a killer. Okay, designed for high reliability. Both consumers and enterprise PC users can expect exceptional reliability even with heavy use. For example, in testing a 250 gig uh, H400 SSD was rated to operate for more than five years with workload of approximately four gig day three. I don't know what they mean by that. The performance, this performance makes H400 SSD an optimal solution for enterprise and other OEM customers who need a high reliable solution for systems that are broadly deployed in fields such as digital sig sig signals, network ge networking gear, point of sale, and commercial PCs. The H, uh, the X400, sorry, not H, SS3 uh, also achieved increased increased reliability and endurance by implementing SanDisk on end cache 2.0 two technology with data guard technology as well as additional error correction mechanism. Based on SanDisk 6th generation X3 technology, the SanDisk X400 SSD uses 90% less power than traditional hard drive. Wow. This is uh, awesome. Consumers that upgrade to the X400 SSD will now have a luxury of working longer without power source and enjoying faster response times while moving data more efficiently. In addition, uh, the H400, no H, what's wrong with me? X400 SSD offers data protection throughout AES 256-bit comp compliant encryption, encryption and TCG OPAL 2.0 compatibility targeting users in, in the healthcare, finance, financial services, and education sectors who need, to comp who need to be compliant with industry regulations. Wow, the SanDisk, the SanDisk X400 um, is currently available in 2.5 case and M.2 2280 form factors and 128 gig, 256 gig, 512 gig, and one terabyte capaci capacities. Okay, this is the picture. I personally think this this is gonna this is going to be um, especially the M.2 one is, is going to be crazy expensive. I'm I'm expecting price of this to be easily over thousand dollars for 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 probably terabyte storage, right? I uh, I remember SSD drives back in the day uh, when they first came out. There was this um, I remember one terabyte Samsung Evo. I think it was Pro Edition. It was around in my. Uh, I think, um, I think it was around one thousand two hundred Australian dollars, or probably a bit cheaper in US. But holy shit! And now you can see those exactly same drives, uh, going for around four hundred, even three hundred fifty dollars. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's, it's crazy how they, they they bring out different things. They bring out the new technology, new drives, right? Few few months later, they. And they once they released, they they crazy expensive. A few months later, um, they dropped the price. This is what I always say to people: I said, don't don't eh, do not bother upgrading your computer straight away as soon as the new platform arrives. Like example, X99 platform now, it's crazy expensive. DDR4 memory, 16 gig, Dominator Platinum, I believe it's around 450 for 500 dollars. If you wait, if if you wait, maybe middle of this year. This it's gonna it's going to drop easy to to, to around three hundred three hundred fifty dollars mark easily. Should not rush, guys. This is the, I think the computer the computer computer gear or just the te technology in general, so mobile phones or whatever. 
you should wait a few months before you actually upgrade because you can save yourself a lot of money that's the lesson that I'll, I actually learned um, hard way and Jesus Jesus like now like crazy crazy anyway guys that's just the news for today I'm actually kind of excited I'm actually looking forward to seeing some testing uh, done on this um, bad boy and uh, I reckon I reckon it's gonna be good competition to Kingston um, Samsung who else has it? Revo Drive actually but that's PCIe but still there's a Kingston 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 and um, Samsung who else does he have it? I don't know but anyway besides that anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, we speak soon thank you